In this lesson, we're going to look at dividing decimal numbers by other decimal numbers. And what we're really going to do here is draw on a lot of prior knowledge that we have. And the, the biggest thing we're going to draw on is the fact that we already know how to divide a decimal number by a whole number. We learned about that in the last video. Um, so uh, what I want to do here is um, to understand how it is that we can go from a problem like this to one where we're dividing by a whole number Let's draw on another piece of prior knowledge, which is um, a fact that we learned in section 3.8, which was that a fraction bar is really just the same thing as a division sign. Okay, so this fraction bar and this division sign are the same. Well, and so this is, a, this is admittedly an ugly looking fraction, but it's a fraction nonetheless. And so we understand what our goal here is. Our goal here is to turn 0 0.45 into 45, right? Make it a whole number. And so we can do that, okay, remember, by multiplying by 100 on bottom, right? Because remember, multiplying by 100 moves the decimal point two places to the right. But of course the rule with fractions is you can multiply by something like 100 if you want as long as you multiply by that same thing on top, right? So what we understand here is that that fraction 0 0.2844 over 0 0.45 is really an equivalent fraction to 28.44 divided by 45. Well, if this fraction is equal to this fraction, and fraction bars are the same as division signs, then what we can comfortably say is that 0 0.2844 divided by 0 0.45 is the same as 28.44 divided by 45. And so the division we're actually going to perform is on 28.44 divided by 45. And so I don't need you to show all of this work every time you do one of these problems. You can just apply this little rule right here. Um, and that is we're going to move the decimal point in the dividend and divisor to the right the same number of places to make the divisor a whole number. I want you to notice that we only moved it two places. And we said it's, it's okay if 28.44 still has a decimal point. That's fine. The only one that we need to make sure does not have a decimal point is the divisor, or the one on the outside. So I'll begin this by sending this decimal point straight up. Of course, 45 does not go into 2, it does not go into 28. So I'm going to go ahead and put a 0 out here for the whole part, because I know there is no whole part. 45 goes into 284. Okay, well let's see. 45, um, you know, that's close to 50. So 50 goes into uh, 255 times. 284 is quite a bit bigger than 250 and 45 smaller than 50. So I think actually I'm going to bump my guess up by 1. I'm going to guess 6. So 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 4 is 24 plus 3 is 27. So it looks like I made a good guess there. All right, now I'll drop down my 4. See, 45 goes into 144. Well, again, 50 goes into 150 three times. And 45 is a little less than 50. So I think we'd be safe to try this. Um, yeah, let's try this three times. So 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 4 plus 1 is 13. So again, I made a pretty decent guess. So here I have a remainder of 9. And remember our rule, once we get um, to the point where there's no more digits to drop down, if there's a remainder, add a 0 and drop it down. 45 goes into 90. That happens exactly twice. So 2 times 45 is 90. And now we finally have that remainder of 0. So our answer here is 0 0.632, or 632 thousandths. All right, so now we'll look at 375.06 divided by 3.8. So 
what is it that I usually want you to do rather than all the detail that I put in the last one? Well, what I'd like you to do is write out the division problem just like this and then realize I need to send the decimal point to the right the number of places required to make the divisor a whole number. So I only need to send it 1 to the right in 3.8. So I'm going to match the number of places I sent it to the right in the divisor in the dividend. And I always suggest at this point, go ahead and rewrite the problem just to make sure it's all nice and cleaned up. So what we really have is 3750.6 and 38. So again, I'll send my decimal point straight up. 38 does not go into 3, it does not go into 37, but it just barely misses going into 37, right? So whenever you barely miss going into um, 37, when you add a digit, now you have 375, you can bet that it's probably going to go in 9 times. So 9 times 8 is 72, 3, 9 times 3 is 27, plus 7 is 34. So we get a remainder of 3, so remainder, or sorry, remainder of 33. Drop down the 0. Okay. Well, let's, let's be smart here. 9 times 38 was 342. That would be barely too big to fit into 330. So it must be that it'll fit in 8 times. So 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 6 is 30. All right, so that gives us a remainder of 26. We can drop our 6 down. Okay, let's see, 38 goes into 266. Well, 8 times 38 was 304, and we need to try to fit it into 266. So hmm, maybe 7 will work. Might be just slightly too big, but we'll try it. 7 times 8 is 56. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 5 is 26. Ah, oh, what do you know? That's nice. So there's our remainder of 0 there. So our answer is 98.7.